what we worry about is that this is just the beginning. And so as we see these numbers, if we're already seeing numbers this high in November, how high could they actually get in January? Allegheny Health Network Dr. Brian Lamb says at this time last year, there were just 155 cases locally, 3,000 fewer than today in Allegheny County, an increase we could see in our non-scientific sample. I just actually just got rid of the flu. I did actually just had it myself. 40% of the people we randomly stopped in Market Square have had the flu already this season. It was terrible. I hated the feeling. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that is just not something that you would want. Those we spoke to who were positive for the flu were not vaccinated, either by choice or because they hadn't realized it was time. Dr. Lamb tells me timing is an issue this year. He says normally he tells his patients to get the flu vaccine by December, but this year he says that could be too late. We've been telling people, get your flu shot now. We're already seeing it. It's already circulating, so don't hesitate. And Dr. Lamb says if you aren't yet vaccinated, haven't been for at least two weeks, or have no plans to be, consider pulling that mask back out to protect yourself. We have to remember that in any one year, we can see worldwide up to 600,000 deaths from the flu. In America, we see anywhere from 16,000 to 40,000 deaths per year attributed to flu. Um, you know, it's been so long since we've actually thought about it or focused on it. We have to remember, flu does kill. Allegheny County does have vaccine clinics set up several days a week, and we have that information for you at WTAE.com. Reporting live, Marcy Cipriani, Pittsburgh's Action News.